Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Ustayomi Sali, and today I am joined by two amazing guest co anchors. <laughs> we have Shaun. Hello. Hi, wow. Nice <laughs> to be here. <laughs> We're loving you already. Thank you, thank <laughs> and you. And the thank lovely you. Bimbo. Hi, wow. Well, good so to be here. So, how are you? How are you, ladies? Let me start with Bimbo. Both of you are lawyers. By the way, what's the thing with lawyers looking like supermodels? Like, I don't get it. Like, um, how are you, Bimbo? What do you, so, um, very well. how, how, how has the Sunday been for you? Um, now, next time, when I, when I give you people heads up, listen to the heads up, you know? People just take me for granted. I <laughs> want you people that get, get, to, get to whatever and just leave on time. You people thought the traffic was, oh, it's a Sunday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, tell me, how was the traffic? <laughs> I really did not want to get started <laughs> on the traffic. Um, it was terrible. Yeah. For a Sunday, you know, we underestimated the traffic. Absolutely. And, and this is Lagos. Anything ah. happens any day. <laughs> you were not listening so. to me. <laughs> sure, I, I, be, I generally sent you a message that, Auntie, try as much as possible to get to the studio early. Um, but you see, the truth is, I think be, because of the construction, yes. so it's, it's yes. actually been really, really bad. You know, so but you Hopefully. made it. Yeah, thank God, thank God, thank you God made, made it. it. So yeah. the 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 lawyer that I want to attack on live TV, that is making <laughs> people to lose their biz businesses. <laughs> By the way, all those people that are signing oh venture venture capital uh, deals, you should start looking for Shen Wu. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Shen Wu, how are you doing? Hi, well, nice to be here. I'm really loving. So how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm good. So um, tell me. This deal with um, businesses, you know, losing their their equity and all of that, you know. So we were having a chat when before um, Bimbo yes, joined we joined us on set. What do you think is the main reason for businesses losing, you know, their or try maybe companies trying to take over other smaller businesses for all these um, is it v venture VCs, VCs PEs, and yes, PEs, yeah, private equities. Um, so. You realize that most companies are trying to get funding. They mm. want to either expand or keep their businesses afloat. Especially in this pandemic where most are struggling, most have dismal financial performance and they're trying to just inject capital into their company just to keep it afloat. Mm -hmm. And then, so because they're so desperate, you know, they just go into any deal. So anybody that has the money, they go straight for it. And then, they don't look at the terms, they don't look at the structure. and They, they don't just, pay you. <laughs> you know, and then when you even advise, sometimes they're just like, you know, I need this money, I'm just going to sign it. And then at the end of the road, just realize that, oh, I'm being kicked out of hmm. my company. So it's, it's really sad. It's really Absolutely. sad. And you say you are very, you're, you're um, passionate about businesses as well. Yes, yes. Hmm. But what, you know, in addition to what she once said, most times you, they would get a lawyer actually, but they don't listen. Hmm. Right, because they need the money. We can't really blame. We can't blame them. Um, and most of the PE firms also take advantage of the fact that they need this money. So you're getting like, let's say, one million dollars. That's a lot of money, and it might sort of change the operations of the business. So at mm -hmm. that time, you're not looking at the big picture mm -hmm. in terms of the management control. How do I, you know, keep this business afloat? That is what is on their mind. Mm -hmm. Then right. after the business blows, and then they are chopping money. <laughs> Typically, and the PE firm comes and says, okay, so we own the majority share in your company and we're taking over the company hmm. at wow. that point. All right, so today we're not talking then. We'll bring you from where we're, <laughs> where we're going to discuss with yeah. venture capital. Well, today we're discussing networking. And here's what we found as today's quote. Networking is not collecting contacts. Um, networking is about planting relationships. Do you agree with this? You know, I see a lot of, um, when they do business networking events, they'll just say, okay, now it's time for networking. You just see people just coming, can I have your business card? Can I have your business card? I'm just looking at them like, really? I personally find it very stressful. Mm. Like, I would rather just, you know, just feel as collecting, before everybody goes to their respective home and they forget it. Mm. If I had the card, just keep it somewhere in your bag. Absolutely. I've totally forgotten it. Absolutely. But I find it very stressful. I would prefer a one-on-one. -on -one, Thank like, you. And you know, you know, leave leave a lasting impression, impression in your mind someone. of someone. Yes, definitely. Like, I want you to go home, two of you tonight, just be thinking about who I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how amazing I am. No, no, no. I, I think that will work out for me. I'm already thinking you about see, how that's amazing it. you are. So, um, they say networking, ha I mean, networking has a bigger impact than education, marketing, and anything else you do for your business. Not only is networking a shortcut to success, but it also helps build long-term relationships. Now, Gina London is here to discuss networking, but first, let's take a break for what's in the news. Thank you. 